Question seven, a music company has a website that allows user to stream music. A music company has a website that allows user to stream music. The music is stored in sound file. The sound files are compressed using lossless compression. Describe how the sound files are compressed using lossless compression. As always, I say an algorithm, a compression algorithm is used. A compression is used. This one is lossless. Data is not lost and recovers when uncompressed. Repeated patterns are run through or scan identified patterns are indexed. What does it mean? If in the binary form there are multiple occurrences of same uh, appearing binaries, system will save them only once and index them that four times one 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 zero 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 appears. So instead of writing one 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 zero 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 four times, they just take a note of it that one one zero 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 appears four times. So this way they find the pattern, the same patterns through the binary form of the file and whatever the pattern they find, they just write it once. So if a pattern appears five times, they just write it once and they index it how many times. So this way, the whole file size gets compressed significantly. And when system rereads the file, it regenerates the pattern the way they are appearing in that um, compressed file. So if this the system checks if 111000 appears five times, so it will regenerate it. So this type of idea is basically called RLE. One lossless compression algorithm is called run length encoding or RLE. This is not part of your syllabus though, but if you could uh, manage to remember this, this is a good idea to put these. State one reason why the music company would compress the sound file using lossless rather than lossy compression to provide highest quality, to provide highest quality. Take it. So user is listening original sound. All right. Give one benefit to the user of the company compressing the sound file. Give one benefit to the user of the music company compressing the sound file. Uh, data download sound file download or streaming will be 
quicker uh, it will require less internet data or bandwidth uh, that's it otherwise you can write that over the uh, user side the file will take less storage space and things like that give one drawback of the music company using lossless rather than lossy compression for the sound files uh, give one drawback of the music company using lossless hmm. Give one drawback of the music company using lossless rather than lossy compression. Lossless than rather than lossy compression. Okay. So the file that is saved is basically saved losslessly. Okay. So. Give one drawback of the user company. I am I'm a bit confused about whether uh, the lossless compression that is done, uh, it is saved at company site and the file being transferred when it is already compressed or when the file is being streaming, it is being uncompressed for and then being streaming. Anyways, let's find one drawback and that drawback would be when file when loss lessly compressed file is streamed, it cannot be Played without being uncompressed first. So streaming speed, streaming experience might be not very smooth for the user. Okay, so first system will have to download the file that will be quicker, yes, but then system would have to uncompress it and then it will be played. So there will be jerks, there might be delays, uh, between the file download and playback. Okay. Part B. Describe how the web pages for the website are requested and displayed on user's computer. All right. User enters URL in address bar. Browser sends URL to ISP's DNS. Browser receives a related IP for the URL uh, 
means the DNS returns the IP address for the asked URL. Browser follows IP to the server and requests for the web page. Server, this is web server, okay? Server sends the web page HTML to the browser. Browser interprets HTML and renders the page on the screen. Sometimes SSL or TLS authentication happen. If it is secure communication, then SSL and TLS authentication happens. SSL and TLS certificates are exchanged. They are authenticated. The data is encrypted and so on and so forth. Since this is just four parts, so we are not going to get indulged in any of the four marks. So we are not going to get indulged in any of the details. The web browser, the web servers that host the website suffers a denial of service attack. Explain why this will prevent user from accessing the website. The web server in denial of service attack, the web server is flooded with website requests all right so either the bandwidth is choked or the server is crashed all right so system is being sent so many requests that either trying to handle those so many requests it gets crashed or the route which is being used to reach out the server is flooded with these fake requests. So legitimate user like you and me are unable to reach out to that particular server, okay? Now, a four seven bit values are transmitted from one computer to another. A parity bit is added to each binary value, creating eight bit binary values to complete the byte. All the binary values are transmitted and received correctly. Identify whether each eight bit binary value has been sent using odd or even parity. So this is one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, four. So whatever the number that is odd, we write odd for it. And whatever the number that is even, we write even for it. Okay, gee. an error may not detect it when using a parity check. Yes. Uh, when two bits are exchanged, or swap, this is called transposition. Or they are 
uh, dropped or they are gained. What does it mean? If two bits change their positions, odd remains odd and even remains even. Okay, uh, and then uh, if two bits are dropped, becomes zero from one, and if or if two bits are gained, which are uh, turned to one from zero. Okay, the data is sent using parallel half duplex data transmission. Describe how that is sent using parallel half duplex transmission. Half duplex means that one can, can one can send the data at one given time. The other one can only receive it when the sender is sending. So one can send and receive at a time. Parallel means that there are several wires which are being used to send the data when it is being sent. Okay. So now, multiple bits, multiple bits using multiple wires are sent. At the same time, so they are parallel. Okay. Data when being sent receiver cannot send the data. Both nodes are either receiver or sender at a time. Okay. State two drawbacks of using parallel data transmission. Drawback number one data may, as I told you the other day, it is not a good idea to send the data over the parallel connection for more than five meters. The data gets skewed. Electrons start jumping from one wire to another and the data gets corrupted. So data gets skewed. All right. Parallel cables are expensive. Distances is limited. You cannot send it over long distances. That's it. So that completes our paper. Okay. So if there are any questions, there are any things that you need to discover again and you need to talk, you can always write me back.